In this video, we're going to have a quick look at Mathematica, including how to install it on the Raspberry Pi and how to execute the most basic of commands. You should already be familiar with updating, upgrading, and installing software packages in Linux. Before attempting to install Mathematica, it's probably best to check if it's already installed, as recent distributions of Raspbian are packaged with the software. To check, open the graphical user interface, and if Mathematica is installed, you should find an icon for it on your desktop. If you need to install it, make sure to run sudo apt-get update so that you have an up-to-date list of available packages. Next, type sudo apt-get install wolfram engine. Near the end of the installation, you'll be asked to accept the Wolfram Raspberry Pi license agreement. Basically, it says that you can freely use Mathematica for non-commercial purposes. But for the exact details, you can read through the agreement here using the arrow keys, or you can check it out at the provided link. To proceed, hit Tab and then Enter. You'll be asked to accept the license agreement and just hit Yes. Now at this point, it might seem like your Raspberry Pi isn't doing anything, but just give it a moment. Once the installation is complete, start the desktop environment by typing Start X. You can start Mathematica from the menu in the bottom left corner under Education. If you don't see it listed, then open an LX terminal and type user slash bin slash Mathematica which will result in the Mathematica icon being placed in the Education tab. Once Mathematica is running, you'll be presented with a horizontal cursor in an empty notebook. To start, click anywhere and type in an equation, like 7 plus 3. Now that might be a little bit hard to see, so I'll maximize that and I'll magnify to 300%. Now if we hit Enter, we can start another line, which isn't all that interesting. But if we go back and hit Shift-Enter, then 7 plus 3 gets assigned as an input, which has the output of 10. We can now go back and adjust this input and replace it with a star, which represents multiplication, and then shift enter again, and we'll have the answer 21. We can also start a new input by clicking in the empty space below. Notice that my cursor switches between being horizontal and vertical, depending if I'm starting a new section or if I am editing an existing section. Okay, so let's try something different, like 2 minus 1 divided by 2. Shift Enter. And here we notice two things. First, that Mathematica has first done the division and then the subtraction, as per the standard order of operations. Second, that Mathematica hasn't evaluated 3 divided by 2. Another example of this is if I take the square root of something. How about the square root of 7 times 3? If I evaluate that, I get the square root of 21, which isn't all that helpful. Now, sqrt is an example of a preset function, namely for taking the square root. Built-in functions will always start with a capital letter and will be followed by a pair of square brackets inside of which will be one or more arguments. In the next video, we'll talk more about functions. But for now, one that you should absolutely know is the n function, which gives you the numerical value of the expression in between the square brackets. So for instance, if I take the n function of this input and then hit shift enter, I get 1.5. So 3 divided by 2 has now been evaluated. Similarly, I could do that with my square root. I could say, let's evaluate this, shift enter, and now I have a decimal representation of the square root of 21. So far, we haven't seen Mathematica do anything that a calculator can't do. So before ending this video, let's see something a little more impressive. To do a power like 2 to the power of 4, we type in 2, then caret 4. Shift enter, and we have the expected output 16. But let's try something bigger. How about 2 to the power of 44? Shift enter, much larger number. Or how about maybe 2 to the 444? Now an extremely big number. We could try to even go further than that. And we have this humongous and very accurate result. Now, Mathematica is much more than a powerful calculator. But now you know enough of the basics to play around with the program. 